Hi guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting new review of Sunny Space latest launch, Eye Crayon. Now, I'm going to start off with this video by saying I love this product. I grab this product and use it every single day and I'm probably going to hit pan on this faster than I've ever hit pan on any product that I've tried over the past few years. <laughs> That's how much I love this. But you'll notice that I only have four shades with me today. And that's mainly because I just wanted to try the formula and the color story on myself. And also because they have burned me before. Sunny Space is a brand that gets a lot of hype and has a lot of influencers really promoting their brand and their products. And I've gotten stuff that didn't perform as well for me as I'd like and it's just gathering dust so I wanted to be more cautious about that so that's why I only got four shades and you're probably thinking Nick when people say they just want to try something out they get one to two shades not four and I know that but it's a nude color story and I love nudes whether that's an eyeshadow, a blush, a lip gloss, a lipstick, whatever, you name it, as long as it's nude, it's calling my name. Because I know I'm going to get a lot of use from it and it's fresh lang fresh. So I really love nudes. Now, without further ado, because I can talk about this product forever, Let's get into the swatches and see how they perform on both my eyes and my lips. And I'll be applying them with two tools, which is my fingers and a brush. So you can see how the application differs using different tools. I'll also be applying them from lighter shade to darker shade. So you can compare and see how the color and the intensity builds up as we go. So the first shade that I have is Pretzel and it's the lightest shade I got. It's described as a warm almond, but I actually find it to be a bit yellowish when applied on the eyes. And that's not really a look I particularly love because I feel like it kind of makes me look sickly, but even though I don't love it on my eyes, it works really well on my lips. And that's actually one of the ways that I love using it because it gives me like this really nice nude lip. And when I mix this with other lip products, like today, I put it on top of my Strokes Beauty Lab Tinted Lip Oil in Amethyst. Girl, look at this monochrome moment. I mean, I feel like it kind of works much better now. If ever I'm going to use this color on my eyes, I would have to mix this with Velour or any other color in their line or any other eyeliner because I find that that tones down or brings back the undertones that I don't like. So that's something you need to be wary about when you're picking what colors. I know they built something that says it's perfect for every skin tone but it's also up to your preference in terms of what undertones you really like. Next up we have clay which is described as a terracotta rust shade and I find that this one's pretty accurate. It has reddish orangey undertones that reminds me of fall or pumpkin spice and for some reason, this was one of the shades I loved when I initially applied it under sunlight. But now that I have artificial light all over my room, I'm not super sure. <laughs> I feel like this is a tad too orange for my taste, but it may just also be the lighting situation in my room. But once again, I will try this shade on my lips because if I don't like it on my eyes, it usually looks good on my lips. So I still have the Strokes Beauty Labs Amethyst Tinted Lip Oil, so we have the same base. Oh. 
Okay, see, it actually made it look, at least from my monitor, it looks a little bit more pink when I mix this color in. And I love that. It's so nice. So definitely something I'm going to be using for my lips because it seems like pretzel is going to be a winner for my eyes. So all these shades are mixable with each other and I find that I actually like doing that because I can find that I can create my own custom color and sometimes if something doesn't work, mixing them together just makes it work. So yeah, this is clay. Next up, we have my favorite shade from all the shades I got, which is Jujube. It's described as a berry mauve, and this is super accurate. It has the smokiness of a mauve, but the brightness of a berry. And it's actually the perfect mix. I love wearing this on my work from home days because I find that it actually translates really well on camera and it's a step above the average neutrals like your browns or your just neutral beiges. So I'm applying it on my lips again. And I love just how it just works well with any other base. And even on its own, actually, it really works well. See, I mean, this is my favorite monochrome moment. It reminds me a bit of a darker Venetian rose from M Cosmetics. And this is my jam and this is something I naturally grab or get every time I get ready because I'm just attracted to this kind of shade and this kind of color. Once again, this is Jujube. Alright, so I finally put mascara on because this is our last color and this is the shade Velour, which is described as a dusty rose. Now. This one, I'm not so sure. Uh, this is one of my favorite shades as well, but it actually leans more brown to me than a dusty rose. I don't find that it has pink undertones, and I find that it actually has very fall vibes as well. So this is something I grab if I want to be sexy or do an easy smoky eye. I love this as well both for my eyes and my lips and i think the jujube and velour are two of the colors that can work well for a lot of people and i actually find that out of all the colors that we tried today this is the creamiest this one packs the most pigment this one requires the least effort for me as compared to the other shades that can easily get sheared out whether you're mixing them with your fingers or with your brush so if you're looking for a shade that's going to be a win for you this is definitely it because you don't need a lot of color you don't need to put on a lot of layers which means this is actually going to last longer for you so i forgot to put this shade on my lips so we're going to do that now and I've never tried this as a full lip color, so this is going to be pretty interesting. All right. Okay, I love this. I know it's kind of intimidating when you see the swatches because it's really dark, but one thing's for certain with these products is that it's very easy to shear it out and it's very easy to control the pigment. One Overall, this is my favorite Sunny Space product to date. And it's mainly because 
you don't get a cream eyeshadow that's this long lasting and this blendable at this price point. Two of my biggest concerns when I was planning this video and when I bought this product was the fact that it was going to be a pain to take off and the fact that it was going to tug at my eyelids or disrupt my makeup as I continuously blend. But it quickly quashed all my concerns when I tried this because I tried these four shades on me continuously in one day and it was so easy to take off with micellar water and I found that I actually didn't need to cover it up with more makeup or foundation because it didn't cause any redness, it didn't change my skin texture, it didn't make my eyelids dry, it just kept it normal which is unheard of. and. As you can see in the previous swatches that I showed you, it's extremely blendable. Whether you're just using your finger or a brush, it's super creamy. And the best way I could describe this is it applies in layers like a powder eyeshadow, but it retains the moisture and slickness and creaminess of a cream product. So it's basically merging the best of both worlds. And the fact that this is super long lasting because I've accidentally worked out with this on and accidentally gone in the shower with this on and it stayed. So there's nothing more I could ask for. It's affordable, it's this long lasting, and it blends like a dream. So if you're an oily eyelid gal like me and you often struggle with cream eyeshadow creasing on you, pick one of this up and your life will be changed. And if you're also a beginner and you're maybe not as skilled as applying makeup or you're just experimenting with makeup, this is also perfect for you because I actually like that it's like a pencil because it's easy to apply. It's like drawing on your face. And the fact that they even included a sharpener and was able to reduce it to this price point is just chef's kiss. This is perfect. My only gripe with this is the undertones aren't necessarily as perfect as I want it to be, but that's just nitpicking. And another thing is that it sets really fast. But I actually solve that by just putting on a little and blending as I go. Because then as I keep touching it, it keeps it warm, it keeps it soft because it's coming into contact with my skin. So yeah, I actually have nothing but good words to say about this product. And I definitely recommend you pick one or maybe three shades up just to you know, spice up your work from home routine. I know a lot of people are complaining about the grams of product that comes with this, but I personally don't have a problem with it because that means if it's a shade I don't like, then I won't have to spend so much time trying to finish it because it's easily finished. And number two, cream products have a shorter shelf life than your powder products. And if you're buying the entire set or a lot of shades, you're not going to be able to finish this quickly. And I mean, let's be real. Even if you're someone that loves makeup or only has these makeup products, can you tell me the last time you were able to finish a lipstick or an eyeshadow palette or an eye product. I'm pretty sure a lot of us haven't hit pan on a lot of our products so it's actually really good that they only put a little bit of product in this because that means it won't go expiring on you and you're still going to experience the formula you love from the first time you've tried it. So that's it for my review and my thoughts on the Sunny Space Eye Crayon. I hope I was able to address some questions or concerns you had about this product and maybe even help you pick a few shades to get for yourself. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to smash the like button down below. 
hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss a beat when I post content like this. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!